uh, in a cul-de-sac here. This street's coming to an end. This is Foster Road. And he's going to be in it. He's going to be, this is a dead end. He's run into a dead end. He's running, he's running into a dead end. A dangerous situation now. He's trying to, he's backing up here. He, this, this road I saw, Foster Road, comes to an end, and he's got nowhere to go right now. He's got a gate there. He's backing up. This is such a dangerous situation. Officers with guns drawn. And let's see what he does. If he tries to make his way through here. He's, if he rams that vehicle, they're going to open fire. They will open fire. If he uses that, that vehicle, oh, gun shots fired, shots fired. Glass, you can see the glass. Shots were fired. This is a situation that you have to understand that deadly force is using a vehicle. He was driving right towards those officers up on the sidewalk there, and gunfire has been exchanged. Again, at least at least two uh, people inside this stolen vehicle, and we have shots fired here. And guns are still drawn here. This is Foster Road, where Foster Road dead ends right in the community, uh, right on the border of Bellflower and Downey Road. And he came in uh, into that. I saw I saw that upcoming here with the, with the river here, with the wash. And he, and he chose to, he obviously did not know that that was a dead end. So he's not familiar with this neighborhood at all. And this self-storage facility here, a really uh, a, a dramatic end. Shots fired here, guns still drawn, still a very dangerous situation. We don't know if, uh, if that suspect, uh, if he's hit, if he's uh, still conscious, if this is still, you know, a live situation. Until we see code four, uh, it's not. And, and again, we heard that there was at least one other occupant inside the...